Hello and welcome back to A Course in Miracles workbook lesson 26. Today's lesson is my attack thoughts are attacking my invulnerability. It is basically saying that we have the ability to be invulnerable, but this ability comes, comes as an effect of our thoughts. So if we are having attack thoughts, then we are attacking ourselves, which is stating that we are vulnerable to attack because we are believing that we can attack others and thus we can attack ourselves and we can be attacked. To shift into that invulnerability, we have to erase the attack thoughts. So for our practice periods today, we are to do six and no less, and they recommend that we do these for full two minutes, but you can reduce the time to one minute if they are too uncomfortable. So for these, we're going to spend more time in each thought that comes into our mind than we have in the past. So instead of thinking of things that are making us angry, or I, well, I guess the term that they've been using is upset. This time they're using the word concern. So instead of thinking about things that have caused us to have upset, we're thinking about things that we think will cause us upset. So things that make us depressed to think about, things that we're worried will happen, things that... Um, you can have anger, but it's things that are most likely going to happen in the future. So we're going to think about the thought as we have been and name it. So I am concerned about, so for example, um, I'll, um I am concerned about my productivity. Okay. So then we're going to go through and think about each thing that you are worried about, about that thought. So I am afraid that I will not be productive enough. Oh, well, it says will happen. So I am afraid, I am afraid that I get it, but I feel like you can reword this as well because it's it's hard to plug something in to make that sentence make sense. I, so if I switch this, I am concerned about my job. I am afraid that I will get fired will happen. I don't know. Okay. So either you could, you could fill it in and just have a sentence that doesn't really make sense. Like it does, but it doesn't um, work grammatically how we normally would talk. Um, or else I think that you might be able to reword the sentence, but at the same time, I feel like it is important to keep it this way because you're saying that this will happen. So you're making sure that you're putting the emphasis on the will happen instead of the verb that you're putting in there. So if you're saying, I am afraid that I will be fired, you're putting the emphasis on getting fired. But if you say fired, me getting fired will happen. I guess that's how you could say it. I'm afraid that me getting fired will happen. You're putting the emphasis on the will happen at the end. But anyways... Um, then after going through each thing that, um, comes up with that thought. So let me continue with the job one. Um, I am afraid that, um, me getting fired will happen. I am afraid that me getting written up will happen. I am afraid that my coworkers will hate me will happen. I am afraid that, um, my... Raise will be low will happen. So you're going to keep going and they're saying that you should have at least five or six for each of these things. So you're really going to have to dive deep because usually, because often we might focus on that one big thing that we are worried will happen, or we're trying to focus on something smaller when we have this bigger thing that's looming in the back of our head that we don't ever really recognize because it's too scary. So, but it wants us to think about all of the things that we have in our mind on it. Um, and then say that thought is an attack upon myself. And then you can move on to the next thought. So they would rather have you say, focus on one thing that is causing you to worry and go through every single possibility that you're worried about than to do more than one. So we're focused more on the quality of the thoughts and addressing each outcome that we're worried about than a quantity of worries. 